What's going on everybody? So Apple today finally released the fifth beta of iOS 14 and obviously it's here for iPad OS 14 as well. Now this had been released to developers. I'm not sure if it's out for the public as yet. So I'm not sure if you guys are excited as much as me, but this beta was definitely needed. I had tons of bugs in iOS 14 beta 4, multiple like, like bugs like my camera, would not work it would just keep focusing over and over again phone call audio wasn't working multiple function breaking bugs which required me to restart my device and all of that so i'm really happy that apple has pushed out this beta and it seems to be running fine i've been using it for over five minutes now it feels snappy the folder kind of looks weird it kind of looks elongated i'm not sure if that's a bug or what but the folders look kind of weird but it's so smooth that's one thing i could give it it's smooth now new features i've found wasn't really much. I found this new COVID-19 exposure notifications, so you could now enable that. Also, the weather widget now asks you permission for your location. If we go inside the clock app and we try to add a new time, we can now scroll through the clock app. So that annoying thing where you'd have to dial in. Yeah, long gone the dial, we could now scroll which is well welcome. Another feature I found is that if you jump on into the photos, settings right here you could now hide the hidden album so as you can see hidden album when enabled the hidden album will appear so you could do that which is pretty cool so far i really haven't found anything new otherwise than performance which is appreciated because ios 14 beta 4 was terrible and hopefully you guys get this download as soon as possible now at this point it's very hard to say what other new changes apple has made like apart from the ones that i've told you guys so if you have anything just let me know down below in the comments but so far my wild guess is that this is all about bug fixes and obviously the new features I've said before. So you could expect this update to improve your battery life, performance, all the issues that I mentioned earlier. Let me know down below in the comments if you still have AirPod issues. In a beta 4, I had tons of AirPod issues. It was just not connecting and all of that stuff. Furthermore, performance issues should be fixed here. And yeah, that's everything I could say about this new beta. Hopefully down the line next month, we'll see some actual new features in iOS 14. But so far, this is what we have for now. Let me know what you think of this new beta down below in the comments. And as usual, guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.